so all I wanted to do today is every every end of no, December I like to give a little spiel about what we've done during the year and and what we can look forward to next year and and give giant thank yous because I think it's you know this sort of what happened to my did all my things just turn off that's amazing oh there they go um, this channel is not built by me alone it's been built by a lot of people a lot of things have gone very well because of many people around here uh, and I really wish that I could remember every single person who's helped me throughout this year and has made things like if I forget something that we did it's not because I didn't value it it's just because literally uh, there's just so much and I'm really bad at documenting I guess but I just wanted to go over some things that's gonna be going on next year and keep it simple then we're just gonna go our separate ways uh, just as a quick reminder for everybody, I will be on vacation from tomorrow until January 16th, in which case we will return. Uh, the plan for returning is we will continue the Ultimate Noob Challenge. That's the first thing. We will be continuing the Ultimate Noob Challenge. The run is alive. It's on life support, I think, or it's doing okay, but I thought to myself, okay, we're not going to finish the new block. That sucks. We're not going to finish anything else that we wanted to finish during December. That's okay. We can save the ideas for later. But the most important thing is that we try and get the run um, that people donated for at least some kind of conclusion. So we'll have tons of time between the time that we come back and Legends RCS to finish that run. Legends Arceus comes out January 28th, and I, I know it's less than a month away now. It's it's madness. It's it's actually it's absolutely incredible to think that we are 27 days or 28 days, whatever the hell it is, away. Oh, it's 28 days. 28. Look at that. I can do math. Uh, it's 28 days away, literally from 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 it being released. I am extraordinarily excited for it. Don't let my demeanor <laughs> tell you otherwise, where I'm just like, <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so we will do the Ultimate Noob Challenge when we come back. Uh, I, I can't tell you what day I'm coming back. It'll be the week of the 16th, right? Because 16th should be a Sunday, I think? Yeah, it's a Sunday. Uh, my stream anniversary is the 20th. Now, unfortunately, that seems to be a day that I have tutoring on. So we might move the stream anniversary. Like the stream, we'll do something small on the day, and then maybe we'll do a celebration on the weekend. The other thing is, I'm not sure what my mom's gonna be doing for her birthday yet, uh, and that's also the weekend of Legends Arceus release. So uh, we'll make it work. Obviously, her birthday is gonna come before video games. That's just a fact. Uh, but we'll we'll make it work. We'll we'll, we'll play around with the times. I, I did finally get my onboarding in for the school board. Uh, unfortunately, the education system right now is in a bit of shambles because our government decided, hey, we're just going to delay it by two days, but then not tell you if we're going back in. Or they're going to go back in and everybody's going to get sick, which means emergency supply might get an extraordinary amount of work. In fact, I know I will get an extraordinary amount of work if they need me up there. We'll see. But uh, I'm still looking for work nonetheless. <sighs> I only I only started doing like 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 how like like chores and, and cleanup stuff and looking at jobs about a couple of days ago. I just really took time to myself to make sure that I ass blasted this thing into the next dimension. But yeah. So know that we'll be on vacation from tomorrow until the sixteenth. Uh, during that time GDQ runs, that's when I like to take my vacations is during GDQ just so I can watch it, you know, stress free. I like to watch both. I like to watch a lot of marathons. Uh, GDQ used to be one of my top. It's still very good, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to say, like, now it's fallen, no. But it, it's like GDQ was just a very good benchmark for me to take time off. And it just so happened to give me something to, like, get lost in while working on stuff at my own pace, which is extremely slow. I work on things very slowly. Um part procrastination, part brain gets overloaded if I do too much at once. But, yeah, so, we'll be on that vacation. I, like I said, if there are any days that I come on, it'll be for, like, events. Maybe I get, like, a, a, sneak, pre a sneak peek at a game. Maybe I, um, 
Maybe a tournament's running, maybe some kind of special events going on. I don't know. But in terms of regularly scheduled streams, those will be off. Uh, in the meantime, though, you will see that... Oh, I gotta check that one last time today. Give me one moment here. Let me see if I can get my name today. If not, my TikTok name's gonna be a little weird. Yeah, we fucked up my name. That's okay. Okay, so this is what's gonna happen. We're gonna do this name. That's such a long name, holy shit. Save. You can change your username every 30 days. Set username. But yeah, uh, what you are going to see on break is a lot of changes, or a lot, not a lot of changes, but a lot of, of implementations of things that I've had planned for a while, uh, and I just want to quickly go over them today. I, I say quickly, but when I say quickly, I mean like 15 minutes per concept, because that's just the type of thorough jackass that I am. Uh, <coughs> I even have a list here, just to make sure I haven't lost anything. So first things first, depending on how I'm feeling... Depending depending on how strong of a voice I'm going to have by the time this starts. Uh, luckily, it hit at a time when it wasn't going to affect what I was trying to get done. But uh, I will be reporting, I will be recording a podcast. Uh, it will be a mini-series. I don't think it's going to be something consistent unless people are actually loving it. But it's it's the primary design of this podcast is to talk about, I don't know, the last 10 years of content creation that I've done. Because I, you know, as of three days ago, my first video was uploaded 2011 on YouTube. And, or, or seven days ago. Seven days ago? It was last week. Christmas Eve? No, 23rd. I think it was the 23rd. Point is... Um, I know I'm no big shot. I'm not trying to say all those Twitch partners that are celebrating 10 years of full time. Uh, I'm in the big leagues with them, but I am approaching seven years on a very interesting journey. Uh, definitely not unique journey, but definitely a journey that I think I've been on longer than many people can say that they've stuck with or wanted to stick with. And something that <clears throat> kind of interested me was creating an archive, kind of creating a history for people of everything that's happened over the past seven years and organizing it into episodes that can sort of guide you through the process of how this channel has developed, especially if you haven't met me um, or have known me for longer than a year or two. Like, even, like, like I said, there are people who have been here and they never even realize that when I talk about an injury, there was a time when I wasn't injured, right? I'm not injured now. I would actually say I'm, I'm, I'm out of that phase, thank God. Officer, good to see you, man. Ben, good to see you, man. How you doing? I'm okay, officer. I've got enough strength to talk. I have enough strength to be here to tell you about next year and then go do shit. <clears throat> we're getting together, or we're going to try and get friends together online for in an hour or two. But the majority of the severe symptoms, I'm calling them severe. My family is downplaying. By the way, my family explained to my my the rest of my family that I just had like a sore throat and um, some fatigue when literally for two days straight I was walking around like a fucking zombie and uh, was suffering and crying in the middle of the night from pain. Yeah, but honestly, uh, like literally, I, I this was the first day I shaved, and the reason was all this was swollen. And, like, swallowing was killing my ear. That steroid kicked it the fuck out of me. It was great. I'm very glad that I went to the ER. Um, like, I've never been that type of guy where, where everyone says, like, it's dangerous to go to the hospital. I go, yes, I agree. But do you also realize that going, yeah, going to the hospital is dangerous, but it's also the safest place to go because they have everything in line? Yeah, 
Exactly, and it's always it's always a danger, no matter what. If you're gonna think that way, right? <clears throat> yes, I know, officer, but there's more to it. Like I said, I'd just rather not get into. Um, okay, so yeah, so the podcast is just going to be documenting, like, like you know, things that people would talk about on a regular basis, but I just kind of want to put them in mini, mini episodes to record them, I guess, organize my thoughts around, you know, things like me being in the Stream Coach Academy and <clears throat> mental health and and the transition from YouTube to Twitch and, you know, just, just things like this. Not to, it's not about being <clears throat> some guru. It's just about, it's just, it's, it's going to be just me talking, right? That's, that's the kind of podcast I want to run. Just me talking about the experiences, judgment-free, just off my chest, off my mind. Oh, come on, computer. You got this. As you can see, OBS is still kind of bu bugged. Don't worry about it. It's not you. It's me. But yeah, I just I just want to talk and just and just get those ideas out there. I think I think podcasting is the way to do it. It's easy for people to listen to. They can take it on the go. It acts as a nice archive. Like I said, if it doesn't go anywhere with it, whatever. I'm just doing it because I want to do it. It's not going to take that much time for me. I'm not going to worry about length or or you know priority or stuff like that. Although patrons will get episodes early. Um, patrons will get that early, followed by subs, and then followed by a public release uh, for people. So, there will be a tier system of people getting those episodes. I'm going to try and record them in batch, too, so that I can say, here's, like, episode one to three for patrons. And then, <clears throat> you know, like, <coughs> subs will get episode one. A couple of days later, and then after that, everybody else will get it. You know what I mean? So, simple stuff like that. Um, that could change, of course, but the podcast is definitely something I'm looking forward to. Uh, on top of the podcast, you're going to notice that my YouTube shorts, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter are all going to get content again. I'm going to try. I'm just going to do my best. I want people to hold me accountable to it. If you're saying, like, noob, you haven't said something stupid and obligatory to fill your social media space, please do something about it. I'm not expecting you to be my boss or my or my parent or something about it, but I'm just, I'm really going to try to use social media. I, I fucking hate it. That's going to be part of the podcast. But TikTok, the, uh, Broken and I have a really good system going right now with the shorts. He has found a style that I like a lot, and he is motivated to work on it. And I am motivated to get him content for it. So, I want to ride that wave. I'm not expecting it to be the easy sort of conversion of viewers to Twitch or whatever. But I am... I am, I am looking forward to making this content just to see. Just, just bits and pieces, right? I really need someone who can help me manage the business side of this stuff. But what I'm going to do is, even if I am going to, if I can find someone like that, or if I figure it out through reading and observing and stuff like that, I just want to have the content in place so I can't be like, man, my business is very good. Sir, have you tried posting every day on Twitter? No? Well, then what's the point in giving you business advice? You know what I mean? So if I could get the content in place where, you know, even just a video or two per week, because there's no way I can make that many shorts. No fucking way. I'm not, I'm not. I can't farm that much. <laughs> I, can, I can only make so many funny things, guys. But, um... <clears throat> yeah. I'm gonna try my best to make as, as good of content as I can. And Broken is, is doing great work in the back, and he has made things really, really easy. Um, and I'm glad to work with him. And, and have him... Have him do it. So... <clears throat> You're going to see a lot of that going. If you guys want to see, it's... Uh, let me see if I can pull it up for you here. I, I have to up... I have to overhaul a lot of things. I have to overhaul a bunch of... Why is that not showing... My new name yet? Give me one 
one second. Just checking something. I'm new to this, so I have no idea how long it's going to take. Oh, no, it is there. Okay, good. Okay, excellent. So, um, I'm just going to double check that this works. So if you guys want, um, I don't know what this is going to look like on your side. I really don't know what this is going to look like on your side. I'm curious to see what you see as the handle, but that is my official TikTok. I've been trying to get it going, but the problem was it was using my real name because there was a fuck up in the system when my sister deleted my account instead of transferring it. So I'm just curious what that looks like, because right now it's showing my username as Pro Pokedoob Official, but it's still showing my real name, which is not a problem because you can find that on Fiverr. It's not like it's a, it's not like it's a mystery. I'm also a teacher. You can look up all my credentials if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, YouTube Shorts will be going up on the main YouTube channel. TikTok will also have those shorts. Uh, Instagram and Twitter are also going to be getting them. <clears throat> Just keeping it simple like that. Just start producing that kind of content. Early stuff will be sent out to patrons, of course. Um, and just make that happen. So, we'll get to give it a shot. Try and push as much as we can with it. <sighs> also, <clears throat> a quick update on... Oh, I didn't make a note of when I started talking. Oh, God, now I gotta go search for when I started talking about stuff to make this a clip for, for YouTube. Because I said for people who couldn't make it today, because people are busy with whatever, uh, I'd make this an easy video for people to go watch and see so they don't miss out on stuff, which is fair, obviously. Um, in terms of the Extra Life prizes, uh, I will reassure you, and I will do this in the best way possible. I have not touched a single prize since I got sick. I will be sending them out after my full quarantine and then some is done. I have gotten the packaging for basically everything. Uh, because of the because of the restrictions lockdown, because of the, um, certain rule restrictions again, a lot of things changed when I was about to go ship them out. But I will guarantee you that none of the prizes have been touched during the time that I have been ill. Nothing that... I have had to use to keep myself clean or whatever it has gone near the prizes. It will be clean surfaces. I have I will be sanitizing everything before I send it out as well. So I just don't I, I want to delete that thought from everybody's mind that if you are receiving an extra life 2021 prize, um, that it could be a threat. It will not be, and I will make sure of it. Um, simple as that. And yeah. So, those will be sent out in the new year. You'll get them whenever you get them. They'll be fine. They'll be safe. They'll be good to go, though. I got the bubble wrap and everything, so... Good stuff. Um, in terms of Patreon, the talk that I had a while ago with Marie and Broken helped a lot. You're going to see more action on the Patreon. I've already started posting some action, actually, if, if you guys haven't taken a look at it. I post this a lot, but if you want to see, it should tell you how many posts have been going out. I've been trying to put one out at least once a week. Just with some stuff. Try and just keep it active. Actually, it says like 12th and 30th, but I got sick. That's not fair. But similar to social media, I'm going to try and have that just reasonably active. Just try and get some stuff on there for you. Cat pictures, just talking, content stuff, reviews, early access stuff. Oh, that's a nice picture. Nice. Look at you go. Good job, OBS. Um... Just keep that going. Uh, there probably will be some... There probably will see be some tier shifts. There definitely will be some uh, changes to the commentator over anything. What was suggested is I go grab the clips myself. That way I am guaranteed content. So any clips that are in there right now for patrons, for those who have access to the Patreon stuff, uh, I will use those. And then after that, the commentator or anything will become much easier when I just kind of Thanos it and say, fuck it, I'll do it myself. Um, <clears throat> so, 
we're gonna we're gonna have more Patreon content. The week the monthly show should return. Uh, if it's not a show, then what it could be is ideas with game design. Like bring out some of the things that I'm working on. Either I want to make her, or just maybe have a day where we just relax with games. Like you know, just kind of a hangout and just give give people attention. Uh, I really do want to push that. Uh, the Patreon is the number one way to support the content. Why do you want to support the content? Because if the content isn't supported, I can't do as nearly as much work and time and effort I put into this as uh, I would if it was being supported. You know what I mean? I put a, I put a ton of time into the charity stuff here, and it's really difficult for me to legitimize how much how many hours that I put in if people were not supporting me monetarily. So I appreciate those who do. If you don't, don't feel shamed. I'm not trying to shame you. I'm just letting you know that we are we are here because you are great and that you are supporting this the best that you can by telling people about <clears throat> telling people about the content, um, participating in it, right? Donating to sick kids if you can, uh, and just and just being generally spectacular people, making this a good deal that we have going on here. Um, so. But for those who are supporting monetarily, I want to give you the value like I said you would get. So you're going to get that, hopefully. I'm going to work on it the best I can. Uh, in terms of how, in terms of charity, obviously, I don't know if this is if this is wasn't clear to you, but you know, this just might be what we hit, which is perfectly fine. We're still top 500. We're still top 20 in sick kids alone. I am making an enormous push for this next year. Uh, Casual Canada, who does work at Sick Kids, I want to really talk with Sick Kids and try and get something going with them in terms of a job or just in terms of enhancing the charity initiative. I think I think what we do is again not unique, but so powerful. We are a small group of creators and and viewers who came together and basically built a marathon over seven months. Even if it was just one show a month or whatnot, we were able to create an extremely successful um, marathon for charity. And not even just numbers-wise. Like, the number is spectacular. Don't get me wrong. But the impact and the influence and the amount of fun that was had and just the, 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 sheer, the sheer quantity and excitement that was produced through Extra Life 2021 is awe-inspiring to me. And I wish I gave it more attention at the end of the game show. I was just so exhausted. I, I just, I, it, this year was spectacular. And you could say, well, more time equals more money. Maybe, maybe not. But I think, I think what we had going was great. And I want to continue to push that forward. Try and find things like Banded Dice, who graciously offered up stuff for charity. And other prizes that... That motivated, but also just showed how much we care about supporting Sick Kids Hospital. So, thank you to everybody who donated. Thank you to everybody who who participated. Uh, you know, Ruf Rufus had broken with the I Want to Maker stuff. All the way back to Xandir, who did the Gen 3 battleships. The, the, the super fire red battleships. You know, the, the 800 or 700 Pokemon board. Next year, we're going to have Link and I doing the Gen 6 catch em all Tetris. We're going to have... <clears throat> we're going to have... The Ocarina of Time 3DS All Sanity with Logic Rando Run. We're going to have Super Mario 64 Randomizer. We have, we have a lot to do. The Jesus is My Homeboy photo shoot that Gamma promised us. Chocobos will have his baking stream. It just kind of got thrown off in between him and me. Um, we have a lot that we're going to make up for, and I think I think this format's really, really cool because it gives us content for the next year, which then lets us have content for charity of the year, which then builds content for the next year. It's just a cascade. It's great. It's easy. <laughs> it's... <laughs> Excuse me, but it's it's it, I mean there's nothing wrong with with easy with, with with easy working systems, right? It's all about automation, and it works very very well. So 
I'm enjoying it a lot. Now I gotta think of stuff to do for 2022, but we have like a month or two. It worked very, very well. And I'm really happy about how charity went this year. And I want to push that forward. You know, it's, I, I didn't think how, I didn't think that charity would actually be that involved on this channel, but it's just too damn fun. And it's, and it's just too much for a good cause, right? It's, it's astounding how, uh, how neat it is to unite people for something like that. So, yeah. Charity's going to be good next year. I'm looking forward to it. I really I really want to push and and try and get more going with Sick Kids Hospital. I don't know what that looks like. I don't know who I have to talk to. I know the Extra Life Toronto Guild exists. I am really bad at making new friends. And I think it was already even made apparent in public at one point that I'm really bad with it. I just I just I I'm the I, I've told the, I've said this before. One of the things that holds me over or, that, or that, holds, that holds me down is the fact that I am a weird person to get to know and to get along with. I don't get along with a lot of people, so if I get along with you, it's because you and I are probably the same kind of people don't get along with us. Maybe they do. I hope they do. I hope you're not like me, where I'm literally like a mixed bag. Of sh well, no, I'm not mixed bag. I'm, I'm like that one random twisted smarty that you're, you don't know whether or not you want to eat it because it looks fine, but it probably is is but it doesn't look it right my my interests and my tastes and my approaches to things are very 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 strange or at least that's what i've convinced myself of maybe i'm not maybe i'm more normal than i think i am but the reality is i have a hard time getting along with people simply because i am very different but if i find people who are like that then i'm fine that's how it works so Either way, that's what charity's going to look like. We're going to try and get more going for it. Uh, otherwise, the other system that I've talked about before is uh, is the Buy My Game system next year. Uh, I saw, I've seen this on a few channels, and I really like the idea of it. When people ask me for variety games, the problem is I do it, and then nobody shows up. So <clears throat> instead of you just throwing a game at me. I'm not saying you as like the collective you. Instead of one just saying hey noob you should really play this game. Um, yeah I'm sorry to hear that Ben. But you know what? It's not all that bad. It just makes you cool. But makes you cool in a way that nobody else could be cool. So you're just cool. Look at you go. I mean you are cool though. I'm serious dude. I, I don't get along with a lot of people. It's not that people don't get along with me. It's I don't get along with people. Right? And not in a mean way or something that's gonna like shame or, or harm other people. It's just I have I have a lot of things that bother me and a lot of things that don't. But like everybody else normally. But for me, it's I I have I have just become that kind of like I've dealt with so many people that I just can't deal with in my life, and I work client based work. So it's just I work with so many people that I do and do not want to work with. It's just gotten to the point where it's like, if it's my personal life or if it's professional and I have control over it, I'm just not going to waste my time. And I mean, it's a good mantra, especially if you have control. If you don't, you just put up with it. But I just don't want to have to put up with it on my on time, especially, you know, if I know, like I said, I'm very much a fuck it, I'll do it myself kind of person. For charity, I could easily do it myself. Um, but that's never going to discredit how many people who have helped me along the way and helped me currently, you know, giving prizes, sharing sharing links, stuff like that. That's not what I'm saying. Those people are, are awesome. Um, but I'm not going to rely on other people to help me find success. That's I, I've worked better without doing that. You know what I mean? Of course, now I break into sweats. Great. Good stuff, man. Good shit. Um, <clears throat> so, but nonetheless, that's, that's, that's the plan. But yeah, the buy my game thing, basically, if people want to see variety, it's very simple. Uh, if you support the content monetarily, you could give me a suggestion on games. I'll put it, I'm going to make a, I think a discord channel and people could just show me games that they'd like to see me play. And if I think the game is cool, like, first of all, it's not just going to be any game. You can't just throw Outlast at me and be like, noob, you're going to play a horror game, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah no. But if it's a game that you throw at me and I go, okay, this would be cool to play, I'll take a look at it, see what kind of game it is, see whether or not I can make decent content out of it. And by decent content, I mean I can pull it out, 
one day a week, maybe after a Pokemon stream, something like that, like half and half. Um, and I'll see whether or not it's just like a one day test it, or if it's a full playthrough. For example, Yuke's, Mr. Yuke's bought me Nino Kuni. Nino Kuni is definitely a monster collecting game. I am more than happy to give that attention to my stream because he bought the game for me. So, there's that. But we'll have a we'll have a spreadsheet that my mods and I will both have control over. Every time you sub or support the content monetarily, you can put your money, <clears throat> like the revenue, the revenue, not not just like if you sub for five bucks, it doesn't count as five bucks. It'll count as two fifty. But if you, the revenue will go towards any game you see on the list. So, for example, maybe you suggest New World, and you really want me to play New World. And I say, okay, I'll play New World. I'll take a look at its price. I'll take a look at the playtime. I'll see how much, and I'll set a value to it. And the value is merely to show that I'm valuing the time that I use on stream. Because generally speaking, if I'm not playing Pokemon, this channel doesn't do very well. Except it's charity time, which is cool. And that's fine, because more eyes on charity means more eyes for sick kids. That's just good. So, if I see New World and I go, okay, I'd be willing to give this, like, two streams worth of my time, or, like, eight hours of my time, I'd find a value. I don't know what that value is going to look like yet, but I will find a value. And when we reach that value, so let's say Ben keeps subbing or drops gifted subs or stuff like that. It's not just Ben. Anybody could do it. Let's say, you know epic fails like yeah new world looks neat let me pay towards that if i could and after people reach that when we reach that i will try the game and then i'll play it for the time that i said that i would if i enjoy it then i keep going with it if i don't well then i fill the requirements of the time that i said that it would be like that and i'll try and be reasonable fortnite's fifty thousand dollars very easy you want to see me play fortnite you're right five million dollars Oh, sorry, I have to answer this. I'm not. <clears throat> oh, no, it's not that, Ben. It's just for me, like, the way that I'm thinking about it, and, I've, I've, and trust me, I've put, I would not have suggested this thing because originally when I saw this system, I'm like, oh, my God, this is money groveling at its finest. I'm never going to shame people's business practices but I've really thought about this process and I asked myself am I comfortable with putting a value on games that other people want me to want me to play and then I rephrased it to myself going am I comfortable with valuing my own time and the answer is obviously yes so even if it's only worth 10 hours of my time I'm going to go in knowing that, I'm gonna, and I'm going to tell myself, if it goes more, then it goes more. That's cool. Nothing wrong with that. But um, just it's, it's more or less the initial reaction. Like, if you show me Nino Kuni, yeah, I'll play it through. Maybe I'll never finish it, but I'll play through it with the intention to play a full playthrough. It is the hardest question. No, it is. It actually is, right? How much is your time worth? How do you put a value to your time, right? How do you do it? There's no, there's no algorithm. You just kind of, you just kind of arbitrarily decided on your own. So, for me, it scared me to say, hey, if you want to see me play, and I'm just using this as a joke for Marie. If you want to see me play Chrono Trigger, which is a game I can easily um, <clears throat> access on my <sighs> virtual machine, uh, how do you put a value to that? Right? Like, you want to see me do a randomizer? Okay, how do I put a value to that? And the answer would be the time it would take for me to run it. Right? But then I have to figure out a time per hour or, or a value per hour, a value per playthrough, stuff like that. It's incredibly difficult. But... Yeah. It's... it's There's nothing wrong. I think, it's, if anything, it's more confident for me to sit here and go, my time is worth this, than I am saying, you know what? that game wouldn't be worth my time because I can make it worth my time if you make it worth my time there's nothing wrong with that I don't think it's I don't think it's I don't think it's a bad thing to say look I want to do well on Twitch I want to make this at least a side job 
if I can make this a side job and people can help me get there, because obviously I don't I get paid by Twitch based off tips and subs and stuff like this. this is why I say the Patreon is really important. If I can give you enough content to make it worth you and your time to want to give me money to keep making stuff to make your day great and to, to enhance a charity initiative while at the same time of <clears throat> whatever the hell else I get you going, whether I please you mentally or physically or, well, not, not, not that second part. You have to do that, but the point is... <clears throat> Oh, God, sorry, the COVID's talking. My bad. Sorry, guys. Eh. Please you physically. Right. Like that would ever happen for free. Check out my OnlyFans. Um, but the point is, putting a, putting a value to it very much is a difficult pill to swallow and also worries me, but that also makes me realize I care enough about the content and the numbers being consistent enough that I need to put a system in like this. And it also makes people take me seriously. Right? If I if I legitimately tell you that if I was to play Call of Duty Modern Warfare on this channel for a week and you want to see me play it non-stop, if I was to legitimately tell you that is literally mini, mini career suicide and you didn't take that seriously, then you don't understand how much I understand my content. Pokemon works. Charity works. Right? Monster collecting works. Randomizers, they kind of work. But not all of them. I have to put time aside and tank losses to make things work. So this system will merely show you, like, this is how much I think about, how much I can value things, and what it's going to mean for numbers, and what it's going to mean for growth, and what it's going to mean for making sure that you're getting the best content I can give you. Simple as that. That's I, I think that's the easiest way I can say it. I don't know if I'm saying it wrong or if I am sound like a jackass, but I value myself. I value my time. I value your time. I want to make sure that if your time is going to be lost, if Ben wakes up and sees that I'm playing a game that he doesn't want to see, just using you as an example, I want to make sure that if I lose Ben that day, that somebody has made sure that it's worth it that I've lost Ben because I don't want to lose viewers. I don't want to lose community. I don't want people to come in and be like, damn, you're playing this game? Why? And be like, because people pay me to do it. I could be bought. <coughs> but obviously my entire stream's not going to be like that unless people actually just start all of a sudden being like, hey, I really want to see you. Here's the game. Here's the money. Play this. You're a variety streamer now. Then I'll be like, well, I guess I'm being paid, f guess I'm being paid by the hour to do this job like this. If somebody has that much money to literally control and make me a variety streamer, I'm not going to say no. Clearly, I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. I need to find more people with expendable income. <laughs> Disposable. Oh, uh, dude, I've been a sellout. Have you not seen my sellout command? It's literally called Shameless. I am a sellout. But here's the thing. It's not selling out because the whole fucking business is selling out. To do this, you're a sellout. You are. Sponsorships, affiliations, creating products, advertising yourself on multiple media platforms. It's entrepreneurship. It's business. You are a sellout. That's how it is. I know I'm not upset at you. I'm just saying. Like, it, that's literally what it is. I have never been afraid. I've, I've always been afraid of it because I don't know what value I want to put on it. I'm not afraid because it'd be like, I wonder if people will see me weird. No, for me, the fear is I don't know what price to put on you people. What do I, what do I, what price tag do I slap on this for people to want to pay potentially? That's what I go through. Not the, I'm going to put value to this. <clears throat> yeah, clearly, Luke, but that's what I'm missing, man. Good to see you. How you doing? Hopefully your holidays went well. But yeah, so that buy my game thing will be managed. We'll have more of an explanation of it as it starts. I just don't have the breath right now to fully organize it. Again, I'm just speaking my mind telling you about it. Mods will be in on it. Uh, and even if I'm offline, we'll be able to access, you'll be able to access a spreadsheet. Everything will be transparent, by the way. I'm not going to change the value on you, or if I do change the value, you will know exactly why. But I'm not looking to be like, okay, I'm going to play Fortnite for 5 million, then for some reason I get 5 million, I go, well, I meant 6 million. We're not going to do that. We're going to make it the value. We're going to we're gonna try and stick as close as we can 
make your money and do exactly what it's supposed to do. When you buy something for $7.99, you don't walk up to the counter and the person goes $10.99, right? The price tag and everything will be there. Of course, it's always up for discussion and stuff like this. The one thing that we will not discuss is the value that I'm putting on my time. Two to card binders. Hell yeah, dude. Nice. <clears throat> Which, uh, is this for MTG? I think you were getting back into that a lot. <sighs> So yeah, I'm, that's going to be like the biggest change to next year. His content kind of being guided by that. On top of just more social media. But that's a big change more for me than for anybody else. You're just going to see that my name's going to appear more on your Twitter line. On your timeline, your TikTok and stuff like that. On your TikToks. Um, in terms of games, the only game I really have in mind right now that I can guarantee you that I will be playing is I do want to try Castlevania Aria of Sorrow Randomizer. I think that'll be really fun to try. That's going to be next year's speed run. It's not becoming a one speed run a year thing because I really do want to return to Minish Cap as well. To be honest, the controller being broken plus my hands not being in great shape. Uh, now that I have this new controller. Ah, <clears throat> uh, uh, that's fair. That's fair, Luca. But yeah, I just, I really want to try Castlevania. I've never played a Metroidvania game like Castlevania. I've never played the originals, let's put it that way. Never played a Metroid, never really had interest in Metroid per se. Uh, Castlevania, I kind of like the pseudo RPG platforming version of it. Where it's like, you know, you, you level up and stuff like that. Obviously, it's going to be a speed run. But, I don't know, it just looks like a fun speed run to me. The randomizer has gotten some cool changes. I think they have, lo they have loading zone rando now too. So it, it, it adds up to some fun stuff. <clears throat> See, that's something I never thought about, Lukeman. I never thought about if people wanted to pay me to learn speedruns. That's interesting. I don't think I'd ever do Mario Odyssey, though. It's too intense. If it's a speedrun, it's got to be something that's not going to literally make me develop some kind of... Just, like, I'm just going to be sitting my in my thing going... <laughs> Hero, good to see you, man. Other hero. Sorry. Equally awesome, but other hero. How you doing? Legend of, yeah, I'm I'm really excited. What what's the the short for but for it is gonna be LA? Is it gonna be PLA? Pokemon Legends Arceus, I think. We already have BDSP. So it's not like we could go that far off. Can't wait to play through Pokemon Los Angeles. It's actually Dawn with a machine gun. And the clans are actually just two mobs. And you choose a side. Arceus is just like the the godfather. There you go. Pokemon LA. <clears throat> you get paid in Pokebones. Oh, that sucks, hero. <sighs> I'm really looking forward to Legends of Arceus. I want to produce a lot of content on Legends of Arceus. A lot. I want to go ham on it. Oh, jeez. That, that sounds like a bit of a nightmare. Luckily, nothing's running away from you, so... I guess. I don't know. That sucks, though. I hate when you have to reconnect everything. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. Ooh. Yeah, this is more talking that I've done consistently, like, on my own, than I have in, fuck, since the 23rd. So, I'm kind of getting to the end of my line, but I pretty much said everything I was going to say in terms of things happening. There's some games that I have that I really want to play. Monster Sanctuary and Dexamon are actually both on the list, as well as Nino Kuni. Um... So those games will kind of be sprinkled in with Pokemon content. Obviously, Nuzlocke's will remain. I say that so sadly, but I'm like, Nuzlocke's are just my thing. I'm just good at Nuzlocke's. I'm, I, unfortunately, Gen 8 Nuzlocke's are not happening. It doesn't mean we can't try BDSP, though, because maybe BDSP can run better. But Sword and Shield is not happening, so that's a bit of a downer. But this new computer is great, and it's allowed us to play board games, which is wonderful. Um, it's allowed us to do a lot of things more smoothly. 
And once OBS Studio gets reinstalled and fixed, we're, uh, we're going to be on a good side. We're going to be good. Hopefully. I'm hoping that's just the issue is this version, this OBS Studio got corrupted by something and it just needs a rehaul. Because if you're noticing with all my stuff flashing and camera breaking and stuff like that, that's just OBS Studio. I've tested everything. OBS Studio right now is breaking my computer and it's weird. So, I'm just going to try and reinstall it. Maybe that fixes it. I have no idea what else otherwise. Because if this is going to be a problem, this like it actually stops things from loading and working properly. The bot is running slow. Like That's all OBS. So I'm really hoping it's just to uh, get it off your computer and get it back on. Otherwise, we're going to have issues. Like, bad issues. It's not even staying at the kilobits that I told to stay at. That's the, that's the weird part. So Something's messed up in it. Because I can't load a single thing while I stream now. That's something that just randomly started last week. So I'm assuming this OBS just had a bad update or a stuck update or something. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's all I really wanted to talk about. Oh, that sucks, Hero. Yeah, okay. Oof. Port forwarding is always a mess, at least from my experience. It's just always a it's just a garbage thing. Not garbage, but it's just it's annoying. When it goes wrong. I don't even know enough about it to be like, wow, it's bad. No, it's just like it just yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, that's that's all I really wanted to say today. That's all I can really say today, mainly because we're clear I'm just clearing this stuff out. Um I'm gonna put on the sappy music now. Because I do this every year, and I make myself cry, and then random people in chat cry, and it's a, it's a damn good time. Um, <sighs> chat, we streamed over 1,200 hours this year. In those 1,200 hours, we raised $4,000 for SickKids. We grew community-wise. We now have over 190 people in the Discord. We have a stable plan on how to incorporate charity into the everyday content, as well as have met extraordinarily fantastic upcoming creators, whether they're small, bigger, really big. We have met some pretty cool people this year. We have, we have accomplished some very, very awesome things. Um... As we go into year seven of content creation, and this and this kept me up one night because the one thing that I was worried about when I got COVID was I wasn't going to be able to come here and say this. But now that I can, it's kind of unbelievable to think that a guy who was told years ago to stop because I'm wasting my time found a way in and in a way that was completely unconventional the uh, the age of people got lucky on Twitch is kind of gone now it's luck and opportunity you're not the OG anymore you're not you're not a somebody just because you're you're the first right but <clears throat> With the people that I met this year, with the things that we've done this year, with with everything that this channel has gone through, considering the circumstances of the outside world, considering the circumstances of my ever-changing health, considering the circumstances of the unfortunate losses of my cousin's wife and my, and my nonna this year. I have never appreciated this community more than I have this year. And for once, I'm kind of glad that I'm actually part of an online community. It's weird. <laughs> it's, it's weird. I've never seen half your faces. I've never met, like, officially shaken your hand. 
I've said hello to you through text, I've spoken into a mic, and you've typed into a chat room. And yet... We have people who are coming here because this is where they feel good. And that makes me feel good. And I'm glad that people are feeling good. That has been the goal every year that I stream. The original thing that I always said was my goal is very small. It's very simple. I want people to come here and I want them to leave with a smile. And that's it. It's corny. It's cheesy. But that's what I wanted. That's who I am. I just want people to be happy. I want us to be the group that feels like if you have anything that is, like I always talk about, if you feel weird, if you feel like you do not belong, this is a place to do that. You can belong here. We are safe. We have rules. We have order. We have. We know how we want people to exist. Well, not how we want people to exist. That sounds strange. We, we know what we want. And we're achieving it. And we're a happy little community. And I'm happy between the way that the pro pokeball went this year with the way that shit with extra life went this year it finally feels like we have the community standard and the and the the mindset that is positive and is constructive and is ever it is always going to be like the norm basically I don't do this often. I don't I don't sweet talk people very often. Actually I do. I didn't practice this though because I've been kind of in a fever dream <laughs> of like like literally feverishly dreaming. Um, you know, like like a hundred a hundred fever, which is not high, but you know, tired and sweating and talking to myself in a bed for two days. <sighs> Basically what I'm trying to say is I, I I'm very glad that I know all. And, and based on the fact that, you know, like, my parents bought me this, and they haven't stopped me streaming, and, and I'm still looking for work, and I'm not, like, I'm, 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 th this is on my mind nonstop, that I just, I just want to stream. I want to make content. I want to make people happy. I want to raise money for sick kids. It's the first year I felt like I did it right. And I'm proud of us. I'm proud of me. I'm proud of you. And I'm appreciative of those who gave me supporting words. Who check in. Who care about what we do here. Because this is not a year where I'm doubting how much we've done. This is a year where I'm actually damn proud. And happy of the support. And happy of our, su of our successes. It's not doubt anymore. It's real. And I'm glad it is. <sighs> so... 2022 is going to have an empowered me. It's not going to have a doubting me. It's going to have an empowered me. It's 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 going to be a year where the people that I've met, the people that I know, I don't even know how long I've known some of you. It's it's so strange. Ben, you feel like I just met you this year. I don't even know. I can't remember. That's how cool it is where if even if I met you a week ago, it feels like I've known you forever. We're just a good bundle of people. And we're going to do great things on Twitch. We're going to do great things on social media. We're going to do great things for sick kids. <sighs> wow, it's been a year. Holy shit, it's been a year, man. Wow. Wow. 
Shut up, Pokebot. This is my time, not yours. <laughs> I just want to say thank... I, I, I want to truly say thank you, first of all, to Broken. Broken but Alive has gone through... so much. But... Even if it even if you don't hear his name pop up often, I try to say it as much as I can. That man being my video editor made so many things easier on this channel. I don't even know if I can I don't even know if I can like word. I don't even know if I can word how much he has actually helped this channel with ideas. With with managing content that I just that I just just I hate <laughs> I hate editing videos and he made it so easy and I don't mean to say affordable like I'm underpaying him I want to give him the value he deserves and I hope that I can find a job to give him the value he deserves. Broken has done so much for this channel. To the original TPA, Team Pocket Aces, Tim, Marie, Gamma. The amount of emotional support. The, the prizes that Marie gave this year for, for sick kids is insane. The, uh, the, the advice that Tim has given, that Marie has given, that Gamma has done with check-ins. The man's going through school. He's suffering with exams, he still checks in on me, like... The man had fucking COVID, and he's asking if I'm okay. Not, like, outside of me having COVID. The man the man was sick to his stomach and could barely breathe, was hospitalized, and he'd still be checking in on me, like... Hearts of Gold. Truly. To the mods that are here, Lukeman, you you've you've been here when you can, and you've done your best. Syed, who showed up, the man's got complications of his own. It's it's incredible. I always pseudo felt alone, being like I'm the guy who I'd be in I'd be I'd be like on my deathbed. And I'd be calling other people to see how they're doing. But then I just realized that that's what this community is surrounded by. Not people who sacrifice their own well-being to see how other people are doing, but they'll put in the time to check. They'll put in the time. They'll make sure that people are okay. We could be a bit rough around the edges. Yeah, we could make mistakes. That's just being human. But... It's just good knowing that the people that are here are, are just legitimately good people who give a damn. And they have their own baggage, they have their own burden. But they'll put that bag down just to help someone else lift their own. I'm just glad to see it. Don't even get me started on the creators who have just opened my eyes to great things. Ben, I'm about to gas you up. You, Chocobos, Millibug. Uh, fuck, I gotta look at my list, man. There's just so many people. Sombra. Boyks. Just... You guys are so cool. <laughs> Make this my unofficial please be my friend invitation. Like, yeah, we don't hang out very often. Yeah, we do very different things. But it's just like, everybody is just so cool. We got V in there. Spa, Soft Spoken Serenity. <sighs> Working with Waffles. Pines killing it over on YouTube. Recky is giving it his all, like, it's, it's... I 
I'm surrounded by people who care and want to try. And that's coming from a YouTube past. This will be on the podcast where literally... I came from a creator sphere which was very toxic. I came from a creator sphere where I was used. Where I was... I, I've always been the fixer. I've always been the guy who has been called on to fix their problems. But now I... I look at I, I talk to creators and I work with creators who literally want to help each other. It's not about using each other. It's our networking is strong not because we get content off each other, but it's just because we're enjoying the process together. I have a job where I love talking about my job to other people who are in the job. I've never had job friends, never. And if I did, it was pur purely for the job, and that was it. Now I have friends where I could go in, I feel like I could talk about what I'm doing, we could be proud of each other. We're just making this work the best we can. I appreciate it, Lukeman. Thank you. It just feels good to have a job where, I, where I'm, you know, I always love teaching. I love teaching students, and the thing that I look at is students getting excited about stuff. It's stuff that you'd be like, why are they getting excited about it? But, you know, if I could have a little eight or nine year old say, hey, you know what? One day I'm going to play for the Raptors. And it's because they can make it through school because I helped them. That's what I love about these jobs. You want to see people be happy. Prune, I'm proud of you. Shut up. Hi, man. What's going on? <sighs> Which is funny because... I've always felt rewarded for work. I've always been picky for work just because I want to feel like the stuff that I do is helping people. why I do this and I'm really glad that I know people who want to do the same I want to get big on Twitch don't get me wrong I want to make money I want to be I want to be a name known for something I'm not gonna hide that but I'm just glad to know that I'm surrounded by people who aren't super focusing on that and saying why are you doing that because that's where I came from I came from people who were saying dude you just want to be another pokey MMD you just want to be another Shofu you just want to be another Poketuber who's big and it crushes it and forgets people the past that's what I was exposed to for years I was exposed to people who were always jealous always looking to be better than me but now I'm surrounded by people who just want to help each other get better. Dude, don't even get me started on Pokalink. Jez, Nimbus, Link, the people from Pokalink. I'm I I'm not I'm not joking. Pokalink turns so much of this around, not because of it giving me a scene on my screen that auto tracks my games. Have you if if you've ever talked with Jez? He's literally a crude British version of me with how much he gives a damn about his projects. The man cares so much and puts so much effort and time into, into what he does to run a community. And he, he's killing it. He's doing so much more work than me. And it's awesome to see the man's, man's trudged through shit. Nimbus literally tackled Gen 2 code and gave me a chance to show it off. They manage tens of thousands of people going through Pokalink asking, I need help with my support, when they literally just signed off on how they're supposed to ask for help. Like, he deals with so much shit. And he's just so devoted, and the fact that I could call him a friend is just... massive. I thought he put my name on the credits pseudo as a joke, but my name's on the credits. He cares about what we do, he cares about the content we produce, he, compare, he cares about a project. And I'm happy to know people who care about these projects, who care about these initiatives. <sighs> J 
Jez is a beast, Ben. Jez, Jez is what I want to be. How you doing, Pokedoop? Good to see you, man. Finally, happy to see you. Talk to you with a voice. <sighs> it's unreal to believe what we've done. And I wish I could remember more. And I wish I could give the proper time to everybody to say thank you, but just know if I don't, if I don't, if I don't say it to you, but you're still here and you're still coming in, just thank you. Thank you for six, almost seven years. And thank you for helping me crush the voice in my head saying that I'm wasting my time here. Twenty twenty two, as always, I say this every year. It's gonna be a good year. It doesn't have to be better. It's just gotta be good. It's gotta be the best we can. And if it becomes better, then awesome. It doesn't have to be this. It just has to be the best we could give. Because I think if you're always pushing to do better, you weren't doing that to begin with. If your goal in, my, in your mind is not to do the best you can and you doing your best is to be better every time, then you need to look at yourself and say, well, if your best is not trying to be better, and if it's tied to only being better, it needs... It needs motivation that's simply doing your best will net you more than just always trying to push to get bigger numbers, to try and push to get bigger anything. It's a dumb thing to say because self-improvement comes from that, but I think if you have to constantly and non-stop arbitrarily tell yourself that this is going to be the time when you see it's become better... I've become more successful, and I've become more confident, and I feel like everything has gotten better when I've just told myself, you're good enough. And when you become better, you'll know it, because you're good enough is always pushing forward. I know that's a super complicated quote that you don't want to put on a mug because it makes no fucking sense, because I talk in circles. But it just makes sense. It just makes sense to me. You do your best, and things will get better. Because if you're doing your best, you'll get better when you need to get better. And when things get better, then you get better. And it's a positive loop. Noble, good to see you, man. Yeah. I think that's all the breath I have. I need to go. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Tell the creators that I've met, tell the creators who hang out here, to every individual who says hi, who hangs out in Discord, who posts my commands for me, who supports monetarily, who gives some random dude on the internet a chance to do this, regardless of numbers, regardless of success. It's my mod team. Gamma, it's good to see you, man. Ah, see you next year. I'm okay. I'm on the men's. I think the crying actually helped a bit. Clear stuff out. Nick Defile, it's good to see you, man. I think it'd be nice. Can we get a... Um, can we just get firm handshakes and chat for everybody who can? That emo truly defines what this channel is. You guys are the Jack Dunsparce. You truly are Lord Sparce. It was such a cool year. Like I said, I'll be on vacation January 1st to 16th. I'll be around on Discord. 
I'll be posting developments. It was Gamma. I was just telling people that you would literally check on me while you were, like, suffering from COVID. Because that's the type of person we are here. It's the type of community we are. We're a community that cares. We're a community that doesn't give up. We're a community that's so tropey, it doesn't even fucking matter because we're we're on the up. We, we know what we're doing. Raise $4,000 for sick kids, like... It's unreal. But it is real. And I'm really looking forward to 2022. <sighs> Social media. Buying my games. The podcast. All of this stuff. When I'm better. Remember my stream anniversary is January 20th. That will be that will mark seven years on Twitch. We'll have a mini celebration and then a larger celebration when we can. The Ultimate Noob Challenge will return in the new year. We will have some form of closure. Whether we win or lose, I just want closure with that. It can end in three minutes when I load up the game coming in. Nah, December never died, Pokadoop. This here comes the super sappy shit. You know what December really is? It's a month for me to do the content that I know is is the simplest, so that I could have an entire month to reflect and appreciate everything that we've done. That's what December is. December doesn't have to be 31 days. December could be five days. And my appreciation will always be strong of everything and everyone that I've met and everything that we've done. Yes, I, I submit. Hal is OP. Hal wins. Uh, kind of Gamma. It's gonna be a different kind of podcast. It's gonna be more of a more of an audio book than a podcast, if anything. It's gonna be fun. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm starting to have chest pains. Okay. Guys, I need to go. Thank you, everybody. Happy December. Happy New Year. Don't think of it as it's gonna be a sequel to, to the same old garbage. You don't need to have a resolution. Have the one thing that Star Wars always talked about. As stupid as it sounds. Hope. If you're putting your best foot forward, and you are doing exactly what you need to do to better others' lives and keep your own going, what more can you ever do? That's what I've learned from streaming. It's just do you and do it the best that you can and tell people that you're doing your best. Have the naysayers roll right off you. Have those who support surround you. Do the do. Just be you. Cheers, chat. Thank you very much. You have a wonderful day. For the last time in 2021.